Thanks for clicking on this video tutorial. This is Bakka Patancholikar. Welcome back to Test Automation Tool Selenium. In this video tutorial, we will discuss how to manually create and run the XML file. Let us jump to the high level agenda for the today's video tutorial. First, we will be discussing uh, how to create a XML file manually. Then, we will be writing sample Selenium automation script and we will run that Selenium automation script by using the XML file. So I'll jump to the Eclipse IDE. What I did here is I have created one simple project and after that I have added one jar file that is a Selenium server jar file that is a version of 3.5. That's all. And after that I have created one simple package. We'll add one class and we'll write a sample automation script in the later part. Before that I'll discuss how to create a xml file manually so right click on the project go to the new and then select the other option here just enter xml under the xml folder folder you will get two options you select the first one and click on next after that you have to specify the xml file name so here i'm specifying the xml name as demo xml file so click on finish button that's all you will get very first line that is just ignore it not an issue this this will be this line will be coming after creating any xml file so you have to remember certain tags for running any selenium automation selenium automation script by using the xml file so first you have to write the suit tag suit tag contains the one attribute called name you have to specify the suit uh, suit name in my case i'm specifying the smoke testing that's all just i'll close it see guys once you open any tag you have to close that particular tag in the subsequent lines so after that you have to specify one more tag that is called test again this tag also takes the name attribute. Now to specify the test name. In my case, I am executing Selenium automation script that is a test ng test. So I am specifying it as a test. You can specify anything, not an issue. So if I want to execute any automation Selenium Java program that is containing Selenium automation script. Those exist under the Java programs, right? So, in the same way, we have to speci specify one more tag called classes. This classes contains the class name. You have to specify the fully qualified class name. So, under the classes, you have to specify one more tag called classes. Sorry, class class and this tag also takes the one attribute and the value that is a name this name you have to specify the fully qualified class name so first we'll define one uh, automation script selenium automation script under the java program so here i'm creating one test ng class just click on next here you specify the class name so here i'm giving class name as a demo xml just click on finish button that's all so i'm re replacing test method name f with the test one so in this test script what i'll do is i'll simply launch one web browser that is a chrome browser and after that i'll uh, enter some google.com and uh, after that i'll simply close the web browser that's all so if i need to launch the web browser of type chrome browser i need to set the property because i need to mention the .ex file so for that you have to use the system dot set property method so this takes the two parameters of type string so you have to specify webdriver dot i'm launching the chrome driver so i'm entering the chrome here after that 
driver. This another argument you have to specify the dot exe path where you have stored your dot exe file. So in my case, I have stored under the downloads. Just I'm copying this. I'm pasting it here. So you have to specify the fully qualified dot exe file. That's all. Let me maximize it. That's all. In this case, you can you can use uh, two backward slash or one forward slash. In my case, I'm using two backward slashes. That's all. Just I'll jump to the next line. Here, what I'll do is I'll create the browser object. And I'll assign to the web driver interface. That's all. Just import the related packages from the org.openqa.selenium. Once I created the browser object, I need to enter the URL. Before that, I will maximize the browser by using the driver object dot manage dot window a style call to the maximize window dot maximize this maximize the my web application that's all after that by using the driver object I'm mentioning the URL which URL I want to navigate so just I'll take google.com simple That's all. After that, I'll uh, use thread dot sleep. So this sleep method takes the number of milliseconds. Just I'll mention two thousand milliseconds. That is nothing but the two seconds. After that, I'll close the web browser. That's all. Just throw exception. That is the uh, half type base type of exception that is the exception that's all that's all for this java program so now we have to mention the fully qualified class name if i need to execute this java program selenium automation script i need to take the fully qualified class name of fully qualified class name so once you right click on this java program you will get one option called copy qualified name that's all go to the xml file and paste it under the name attribute that's all now till now we have discussed how to create a xml file manually and then we have written one sample selenium automation script just we have launched our browser and we have entered the url and we are waiting for some two seconds then we are closing the web browser so now now the final part is how to run the xml file it is very simple select the xml file which we have created just now right click on it go to the run as just select the option as test ng suit so here it is showing some error let me check the error what is that error exactly Actually, it is uh, it is strongly recommended to add this line that is not so mandatory. It is showing you the null pointer exception. Just have a look on to this XML file if we have mentioned anything wrong. We have created a suit tag and we have closed it, and we have created a test tag and we have closed it. I think nothing go wrong with the, this XML file. Let us go to the Java Java program that is containing the Selenium automation script. One minute, just I'll check what is the error here because here you have made one, we have made one wrong. That is, this is a dot exe. 
because we have not mentioned the extension for this driver that is i think that this is a wrong so let us run one more time this xml file this time it should run properly just save it once right click on the xml file run it as a test transit suit but still you are facing same issue i think that is not the problem i think we have to mention the protocol here https colon slash slash www dot that's all let us try one more time this time it should run at least run it as test ng suit still again i'm facing the same issue i think it is uh, wrong with the this java program let us run this java program and check it whether it is running properly or not if it is running something is issue with the xml file yes it is working properly and it should close the browser yeah my selenium automation script is working properly something wrong with the xml file just i'm, I'm opening with the xml file here so just give me uh, one minute i'll check what exactly the issue we have so here we have used classes in the caps but we should make this one to the small letter case that's all now we will try by running this xml file yes it is working fine because we had an issue with the tags you should always specify the tags in the smaller case see guys we have got the result now total test run is one and there are zero failures and zero skips that is how you have to run this your xml file and how that's how you have to create your uh, manually xml file and then you have to run by selecting the particular xml file see guys here it is suggesting you to use this particular line you can use it not an issue if you are facing any problem if you are not using also not an issue it is it way it is not throwing any error to you but still i suggest if you are using this one you may get error actually i tried to use that one but i was getting some error if you use this line that error will be resolved that's all i have in this tutorial for how to create xml file manually and then how to run that particular xml file if you have any queries you can drop me an email to my gmail id and please do like and share and if you are interested to learn about more if you are interested to learn about selenium please click on subscribe button stay tuned for the next video tutorial on how to create multiple java programs and how to run multiple java program scripts and thanks for watching